we have a special Trite Tuesday, Tuesday guest. Yeah. My son, who's nine years old, MJ, is here. Say hi, MJ. Hello, hello. My name is Billy Bob Jones. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Hello, hello. My name is Billy Bob Joe. Oh, I guess it must be a YouTube that he watches. No, the girl, my sister taught me. Okay. Well, um, MJ is on summer break, yeah. and he has asked Mommy, please can I come on a Trite Tuesday where I can try something? Because the last time MJ visited our show, we had the brew fest in here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yes. the beer. Yes. You can't have that. So I told him I'd make it up to him, and it's Tuesday, and he's here, so he's very excited. And we brought something that is what, Matthew, Jimmy? How did we describe it? They're called boba cubes, but instead of cubes, they're called jubes. They're jubes. Mm -hmm. J-U-B-E-S. They're squishy. So I found these, and should we be scared? I found these at Marshall's. Oh, no. <laughs> a clothing store? <laughs> these are called out. jubes? I feel like uh, I, if I'm new to the Jewish religion, I'd be a jube. Oh, it's my a Japan, God. It's a Japanese <laughs> kind of like snacky thing. It's a Japanese, I guess, <laughs> it's a little cube of... Starch, I guess you can call it. They are yeah, coconut no. gels. Um, it's a fibrous, cholesterol-free, and delicious dessert. It says you can spend hours of fun munching these chewy, juicy cubes or mix it with cocktails and other desserts to oh, create on. your own treats. I got mango flavored. I got coconut. No, I'm sorry. I got strawberry flavored. And because they're at the checkout counter at Marshall's, anything goes. Yeah, anything I have goes. no idea. Oh, what so the most know. random of foods there. We've not tried I don't any think of these. Gonna, no. I don't think we're going to spend hours of chewing them if, we all, like, if we're already going to eat them. Are they, is yeah, it, it's, wait, wait, it's wet in the bag? Yeah, it's like in the it's, juice. It's water. Okay. They're called wait, jubes. Wait, J-U-B-S, that way, and that Let's coconut it gel it's cubes. It's mango juice. It's but just it's, mango juice. But it's been on a shelf? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. I refrigerated them, but these were not refrigerated. Ooh. Do you have a spoon and to I fish have... out the cubes? It's yeah. not gross. It's just mango flavor. Says That's who? what you think, well, we MJ, know until you we've taste never it. had them. We've never had them. And it's listen, I bought gross. mixed nuts at the register of TJ Maxx, and that was a fail. <laughs> oh, those they're were good? They're sitting there for... No, they're not. They're like expired. It's like stale cashews. I want to see what these taste like. What's the word Yes. Hold on, buddy, buddy, hold on. Say it again, Sam. I was trying to think. Kev uses this word when something is, like, dusty. Is that the term? Yes, yes. Oh, some dusty chocolate? So I'm sure oh, yeah. that's oh, probably yeah. what those nuts tasted like. So hopefully this white. doesn't have oh, any yes. Yes. interesting oh, taste. Oh, that does not look it. good. I think oh. it looks If you've been to a boba shop and they have all the different choices for you to put in your drink, like the, the jelly looks like ice or cubes. the lychee I'll, I'll bear. The and that's the thing. I don't know about that. I've realized that's I like the boba. Hold on, MJ, hold on. I like the boba drink, not the boba itself. Oh, I love the bobas themselves. You eat that. I don't like the tapioca. Yeah, the tapioca balls, that's like that's what kills it for me. Okay, it's too on. much. I I plan with um when don't you're I'm you're about to on. mix up which flavor yeah, we no, got no, here. Too much. here. I'll take a strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got strawberry there. Okay. Um, Kevin, here's mango. I'm trying. Yeah. MJ, here's mango. I'll I'll try Sam. Yeah. Don't take it yet. Very you have one. Okay. Yeah, I've, I need strawberry. Can I pass it to Sam? Uh, it's almost like a flan. Okay. And then there's another I strawberry. Need strawberry. Hold, on. hold on, buddy. You hold can't on. see them. Though. I'm they're gonna clear. try mine. Yeah. Okay, I'm, Matthew, Jimmy, hold on one I'm second. Let me describe to everybody what they look like. And so they're totally ew. white, clear, like sugar cubes, but they're gelatinous, like they're ew. jellies. And I don't know. We all want to try at the same time. Oh yeah, let me get a spoon. Oh. Uh, no, no, I'm gonna try mine last. You want right. to try yours last? Right. Okay. Called, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go with mango spoon. first. Oh, oh, here. MJ try Tuesday. It's called the MJ try Tuesday right. for me. Oh. Oh. So oh, Ryan, no, no, Kevin says no. Kevin says no. Oh. Yeah, I say I'm no. Scared. The consistency yes. is disgusting. Yeah, I love this oh. kind of stuff at the boba <laughs> shop. Let me try it. Hold on, I'm the oh, boba no. connoisseur on this show. Yeah, I think you would like it. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. He's not here. He's not here. Hold on, I am loving this. Oh. This is what boba is about. Hard pass. Oh my god, Ooh. yeah. If you boba usually is very gummy and round and a little tapioca pearl. But this is not. This is not no. a tapioca pearl, but this is something that I could see somebody throwing in their boba drink because they have all these options at the boba shop, mm -hmm. like the lychee yeah. bears and all this stuff. Oh yeah. So this is the the one I'm having is mango. They're called Jubes, J-U-B-E-S. I don't even know what flavor I got. You got mango. You got okay. mango. Okay. Are they good? Have you tried it yet, Sam? I did. I'm gonna try strawberry I... now. <clears throat> you don't like it. I wish it was more it's jelly. It's not as gross as I thought it was going to be from Kev's little uh, reaction. Okay, well, I didn't. I, I totally also am not but into mango flavored well, stuff. Well, yeah, you wouldn't like Here, that then. We'll try the strawberry. Give it's me the strawberry. Terrible. It's not the taste, mm. it's the consistency. Oh, I love it. It's just I love weird. It. It's I, not try, the consistency, it's the be taste more, for I'm me. Really? Like it. Yeah, the taste Here, is not there. It's strawberry. Yeah, okay. Flavor. It's okay. I'm trying mango. MJ, try mango and tell me. Because MJ has been seasoned in the boba shop by his sisters and his cousin. Try the juice, it tastes good. 
good one. Yeah. You like the juice? Do you the think mango. it tastes like... You like the juice. You like the juice. <laughs> the um, fake juice. Tell though. us about the little little cubes. You like the little cubies? They're called jubes, J-U-B-E-S. I found them at Marshall's at the register. I cannot believe <laughs> And I put them in the fridge because I was like, these must taste better cold. But there's no way these yeah. are healthy. How do, you, how do you like it, bud? They taste like a, f- they taste like a fruit, but just cubes and squishy. Yeah, they're just squishy. Yeah. Yeah. They ta- it's but just... Other it's, than that, it tastes like nothing. It's actually not squishy. Like, I think squishy, like... It's not as squishy like as boba, I thought. Like no. actual boba yeah. pearls. It's actually, it has more consistency, like texture-wise. Like like a fruit cocktail mm-hmm. type. It's of, just yeah. gelatinous. Mm, yeah. like yeah. Weird. Like mm-hmm. I, I'll try strawberry now. Sam doesn't know how to feel about it. The consistency yeah, is weird. Like She's so confused. It's not worth the calories because <laughs> no. I know it's not real fruit. There's no, no cholesterol. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, oh, it doesn't um, matter. There's no nutritional value right? whatsoever. I mean, it does say it's 130 calories for half of a cup. Okay. And let's see how much sugar is in there. It's just high in sugar. It's just like a little, like, it's the same thing as a fruit cocktail, like a Del Monte fruit cocktail. Yeah, yeah which but is But imagine like, how the pears, imagine the, the diced pears in a Del Monte fruit cocktail is, like, starchy. Yes. This is more like just a gummy type of consistency. Uh, this is actually not a fail to me, guys. For no, finding it's it at Marshall's and liking boba, but, eh. I can see how this this could tie over my kids, like, here, have some of these juice. <laughs> <laughs> Eat these jubes. But they're not easy I, and convenient. Like, like you wouldn't not. give this no, to them no, in the messy. car no, in the sense of a not. bag. So mm-hmm. you would really have to plan these out. I don't and know. I wouldn't drink this. You can't drink this. No. They're square, first of all. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. So good. They want, you <laughs> like them, right? Yeah, you can have them, bud. Yeah. MJ, you can have all them. Both bags. Uh, we do have, we have, have time else? for yeah. the next one? All right. No. So when, yes. Yes, we when, have something no, else. No. When I was a kid, I heard uh, cartoons say this. I heard my pup-up say it. Uh-huh. And then Sonic the Hedgehog had this part on it. You fool. Away before I make mincemeat out of you. Uh, I was like, mincemeat. Mince so meat out so of you. I was that thinking, because it was mincemeat pie, so I thought it was a meat pie. Mm-hmm. And so I thought that was the grossest thing I've ever heard is a meat pie. A meat pie does a not sound pie. delicious. So Although, I found some actual mincemeat. Did at you make it cold too? Yourself? It's cold. Okay, did and you did you make, make that this? Yourself? I did not make this oh, it's myself. It's coming out of a can. No, 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 no it's a jar. That's it's how you get it. It's a jar. It's like a homemade mincemeat. Where'd you buy it? It looks crazy. Okay. Um, mincemeat like basically is right like, now. I feel like it's like a harvesty type of a flavor because it's usually like cinnamon, raisins are in there. There's probably nuts in there. What? Mincemeat mm-hmm. is a bunch Maybe of stuff that horse. they just mash together. <laughs> Ew, it's, no, it's not meat. It's not actual meat. Oh, it's not. So there's no meat. No. So this no. is a vegetarian like that? Off of, I thought it was a dessert. Like, Why does it smell like pickles? Uh, I don't know. Because he put oh it in God. some random jar. Love- That's what I was like, what's no, going on? No, he said he bought it right to you. There's no label? I just took the I just took the top off. It is, yeah, it is. I love yes. the smell of pickles. It's hold Robertson's on. established <laughs> 1864. What are the ingredients? Wait, 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 wait. And it's hold good on. until May of 26. But it doesn't have an ingredients. Doesn't have an ingredients oh, label. No, no, no. Actually, the label, it, it got so sweaty on the way over here, the label oh just slid off. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because, you know, dri- you're driving from the house, it's sweat. It's sweaty. Wait a second. Kevin. I thought mince meat was supposed to be like a sweet thing. What it the is, heck are we about to try? Oh, it is yeah, sweet. It is sweet if you is smell it. it. Okay, yeah. let me let me. That go looks more. crazy. It does oh, look crazy. So it's brown. It is. It has. <laughs> Your son is pinching his nose. You <laughs> wow. gotta try it, buddy. You're here for try yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, you This is part of the deal. So strong. Okay, yes. here, I'm gonna give you a spoon of look, that, MJ. You made me have mango I'll stuff. I'll get a spoon. I'll pass it yeah, down. I know. Okay, listen. Actually, getting closer to it. Think of if you smashed up Aunt Edna's fruit cakes and shoved them in a glass jar, and they sat in there. That's what it smells like. Oh, this Aunt looks Edna's crazy. smashed up fruit cakes. Mince meat, guys. Mince oh, meat. Yeah, Gonna make were... mince meat. Okay, out of so here. real quick, Kevin. Uh-huh. I just looked up one on H E B. Yeah. I don't know if this is the same one because it doesn't look like the Robertson. Same. Oh, Robertson. No, this one is okay. a different one. Borden. Uh, but yeah, there's absolutely no meat in it. It's just raisins, no. apples. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. And a good. signature I blend. Of spices. All right. Hold on. Let me tell you something. Oh, God. You hold on. Hold on. Scoop. Hold on. But what is this white stuff? There is the white stuff that I thought was nuts. Now it listen. looks like maggots. What is that? It looks While like you maggots. were talking, I thought mine was going to fall off the spoon, so I licked it. <laughs> It leaves a fat film in your mouth. Whatever oh, that is, no, no, is, no, no. is like mush and it's a rice? fat in your mouth. Is that rice? I can't. Y'all, this is not okay. I it is not okay. I'm going to plug my nose. Okay, right, Charlie thinks it's rice, but it looks like maggots. It's not. It leaves oh, a fat God, film in your don't mouch. say that word. I'm just yeah, saying. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, God. Did you try it? Oh, God. It stinks. I tried it. Oh, and God. It's, it's pretty sweet. Do you like it better than the jubes? I like it better than the jubes, I think. No, I pick jubes. You know what? Mm-mm. It looks worse than what it tastes. Why is the white still leaving a fat film in your mouth? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, heck no. no, no. MJ, what do you think? That's I hate not it. bad. I hate it. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I need Bubba Coops oh, to wash the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. It tastes like Christmas. It not does really. Taste a the bit smell like... of this is not right. The smell of this is not right. This yeah. is not a Christmas <laughs> so, happy time smell. Is this supposed to be served hot? I in a pie? I think it is. I think it oh, is. Man. Somebody said, Chuck said, uh, mincemeat is so gross, but it reminds me of my grandma. She had mincemeat pies every Thanksgiving. People yeah. say it is a very <laughs> British thing. Brit- mincemeat pies in Britain, this is it. Like, this is how it is. Okay. Another person said, um, let's see, what else? What else? Because we're talking meat pies. I know there's meat pies in Arabic culture, Jamaican meat pies. It's a whole other thing. But this is supposed to be mincemeat, like a sweet I mean, thing, we, like a we mashup. Some Fri- mincemeat. Frito pie is like a meat pie, right? What is mm-hmm. the fact? Some mincemeat yeah, but- does have meat in it. Really? Right. Yeah. The one yeah. you got did not. No, well, you really have to look meat. up. Yeah, I think you really have to look up recipes. I'm on not that mad at not. it. It's not terrible. Mm-mm. It just I'm looks crazy. I don't like raisins <laughs> I was that much. Not so a fan of that. Yeah, I, I don't, don't like think raisins. I'd really eat a mincemeat pie. Yeah, whatever. Just get some of that white. I, don't I still want to get, get the white tongue. stuff now. I don't. I think can't I get it off my tongue. Yeah. I'm eating jubes so I can find yeah, the time. Yeah. It says some people like to put them in lettuce wraps. It's my reaction when I eat jubes. Oh, yeah. It's my no, reaction no, no. when I eat jubes. Lettuce wrap means yum, yum, yum. Yum. I mean, if you like it, then I can understand that. Uh-uh. But it has like a crunchy flavor. It has like I don't know. a Christmasy taste. I'm not for it. Not like, for it. But like, y'all, why on the, on the can opening it smells like... like Pickle brine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, don't I know. think it's, it's not because the smell is bad. It looks crazy, so it makes it you feel. It looks absolutely yeah. crazy. It was really it big in the 1800s. I'm looking at an ad, mincemeat, at Moore's Mincemeat. 1842 uh, is the year. That's probably how old this. Well, thing yeah, was. this one is yeah. from 1864. <laughs> yeah, mincemeat is supposed no to be like expri- Christmas uh, with the, on this. It's on the cinnamon top and the, right the allspice and stuff. This mm-hmm. is not what I thought. I kind of taste that cute jar. No. I would pass on the meat mm. inside. No, the of jar it. looks crazy. That's it's like, a mason jar. Like it's a knockoff nothing, mason jar. There's no it's label on it. Yeah, so because it fell off. That's what I'm saying. It sweated it off. Okay, it was so meagerly attached to it. I it can't get that crazy. white fat film on my tongue. <laughs> I and didn't Amon, get a white piece. It was commonly Jack in the Box tacos, here we go. <laughs> Please. Oh. We need some you of that. You said it tastes like Christmas. It was <laughs> commonly used in Christmas pies. Yeah, it tastes right. like yeah. a Christmassy type of Maybe. thing. Maybe. It's supposed to be, make but not this brand. Idea. Not this brand. All right, I was a fail. <laughs> Everybody else in here you hated fool. the juice. <laughs> Away before I make mincemeat out of you. And it tastes terrible. <laughs> All right, coming up next, uh, it's time for your Uber stories. We got a listener line call oh, from one of our wow. Uber driver friends. Now, listen, I appreciate every single Rule and Ryan show listener who drives for Uber or Lyft or Alto or whatever. Any ride And share. they have KRBE on. Thank you so much for spreading the love of the Rule and Ryan show. But I, we also know you got crazy stories. So if you have, if you are a ride share driver, 713-390-KRBE. In this case, this is somebody who actually... They were the one, they were the passenger in the Uber ride, and wow, they had the ride from hell. So if you've got a good ride share story, 713-390-KRBE. We'll talk to you next on The Real and Ryan Show. So people call on the listener line all the time, 713-278-VENT. And uh, Rolo, we had somebody call right when they got done with a, uh, like an Uber ride story. Mm. Yeah, they were taking an Uber, and it, would, it did not go well for them. Let's hear it. All right. First, I love y'all. I've been listening to you for as long as you've been on the air. And today I'm calling in because I think you should do a segment on scary share ride experiences. I had the worst one of my life. So I needed to go pick up my car that I had left at work. So I get an Uber. It's an older guy. He's got a handicap sticker, which I was like, Ooh, okay, but you know, that's fine. So I get in there and I'm thinking it's probably going to take a while to get where I'm going. It's like 20 miles away. Boy, was I wrong. First thing, we're on a side road. He's looking down at his phone for directions, so he's veering into other lanes. We oh get on God. 45. He starts driving like 75 miles per hour. Mm. Next thing I know, we hit construction. He was so angry. So he starts changing lanes without turning on his blinker and is like cutting cars off. Oh he starts going 90 miles per hour. He's switching lanes without turning on his blinker, cuts off an 18-wheeler at one oh point. I God. reported him to Uber, and their only thing was, Oh, we're sorry to hear this. You know, we'll remind him of the community rules, and we won't pair you with him again. Oh, my God. That's, That's all it. you that get? That was the only punishment. That's all you get for the death yeah. ride? What about yeah. all the other people 90... that want to use him as a driver? I know. That's terrifying. Zero stars. Their no. safety, like, hello. Zero yeah. stars. 713-390-KRBE is our phone number. If you are a driver or you have been a passenger and it's not been a good time, uh, we want to hear about that. Now let's go to... Um, Jesus. Yeah, we'll okay. start with Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hey, Hello. good morning. Now, are you the driver's side of the story or the passenger side of the story? 
I'm actually the driver. Okay. okay. Now you've been driving you for a, a long stories. time, Jesus? Uh, two years. Two, two years. years. All right. So share with us, Jesus, one of the more outlandish situations <laughs> you so, have found yourself in. So I picked up this exotic dancer on the south side of Houston, and I had to take her to the woodlands. I picked her up. She was intoxicated and high. Oh, no. She passed out automatically. Mm-hmm. We get to the woodlands. I can't just get this girl out of my car. Oh my god! Um, she like, unconscious? Kind of freaking out. She, I like, I thought she was overdosed. I didn't know what to do. Oh my god! I called, I called the cops. Uh huh. So the cops showed up and they're like trying to touch her. The the cop literally yelled and shoved her and still didn't move. I'm like, oh man. Oh my god. Ambulance showed up, everybody, they showed up like a SWAT team, and I called the non-emergency line. Mm -hmm. But Uh it was just so crazy. They finally woke her up. They gave her an ID and everything. Where are you at? I'm not driving. I'm not She was completely out of it. Mm-hmm. So she woke up like ID. it was nothing, Jesus? Like when she woke no. up, was she like, oh, what's the what's No, the you drama? said they gave her an IV. Yeah, yeah they, but... had a, they had a, they gave her fluids to wake her up. Uh-huh. Oh, to car, wake her up. Like, I, okay. I wonder, I want to keep going. I got to keep working. You know? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. No. Uh, they woke her up and they're like, I'm not driving. I'm not, no, no, but do you know where you're at? I don't know. And she, um, she gives them, where's your ID? Gives them an ID. Come to find out she is a minor. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, my oh, man. gosh. Oh, and I'm like, God. holy crap. Like, like something bad. About, like, this girl's about to go to jail. Who knows what's going to happen? Like, mind well, you, she lives in an apartment complex. I don't know where exactly where she lives. And um, and they're, they're like, the cop was like, and the fire, fire the, the medics were like, well, can you take her to the restaurant? I, like, I don't know where she lives. Like, this uh, is the location. Why is like, that I'm, your responsibility? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me look at the street like real quick. Like hey, Zeus, you picked her up from where? Her apartment complex, you said? That's where you picked her up from and you took her to the woodlands. That's where she wanted to go? I picked her up at her job. At her job. At her job. You and that's how was... you knew she was an exotic dancer, but she's underage. Yeah. Good so, grief. That's so a whole other layer of trouble. And everything. Uh-huh. It, was, it was crazy. I was like, man, like this girl could have died. Yeah. Right. And Thank God like, you saved her. So fast forward a little bit. Mm-hmm. After that, she gets up and she gets out of my car, and I was like, "Are you okay?" She gave me the biggest attitude. Oh, mm. yeah, I'm, I'm great. Uh, I'm like, okay, rude. Oh. And, uh, I mean, you were nearly dead in my car, girl. Yeah, like, what did you expect for me to do? Just push you outside and be like, okay? She was probably <laughs> dropped off yeah. at your location. You know, so, she was probably yeah. roofied. Well, I don't know. Uh, she was an exact dancer, yeah. right? She was drunk. Club. If they couldn't she would, wake she, her up. She probably took something that, yeah. that someone she, gave her, and she probably was okay with that. I don't think that someone drugged gave her. her. I no, think she no, may no. have over partaked and didn't realize what she yeah. was Hey, Suze, I skipped that part because I'm still trying to visualize all the chaos around you Woo. as you're telling your story. Once the ambulance drivers got the IV and woke her up, and they asked you to take her back to where you dropped her off, they left you there with her? No, 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 no. She lived there in the apartment complex. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know what building she was at. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You were already at the destination. You didn't know well, where she was going to Shouldn't that be the go. police's yeah, job you. to escort her home? Yeah. Or Yeah, how, how does uh, that the, work? The <laughs> cop the cop was uh, that tried to literally like kind of shoved her and shake her to wake her up. Uh, uh-huh. He ended up like, I need to talk to her mom. I was like, ooh. And, and then, uh, yeah, I ended should. up picking up. The <laughs> only reason I know that she was a, more of a minor, I picked up another exotic dancer at the same place oh, no. and i told her what happened and she was like oh you're the reason they raided us <gasps> they fired five strippers because they were all gosh. underage because yeah. that place was hiring some underage oh girls. that is messed oh, up you're the reason we you're got raided oh excuse oh. me no you are the reason you, you got, got raided, raided. Yeah. dummy yes oh my oh, god he's man. so and Good, what part, great town, story, what part of town was this exotic club in? Was South it off, like what area was it? <laughs> let's, 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 let's say Spencer Highway. Okay. Oh, right. so Pasadena. Okay, well, so you're still go, doing oh. Uber though. That didn't that that didn't run you away. No, I'm still doing Uber. I, there's there's good stories and bad stories. That's I, one of the I bad. I imagine so. All right. Man. Hey, Jesus. thanks for sharing. Yeah. yeah, and thanks for having the Rule and Ryan show on while you drive around. Hey, well, Sue. I'm glad you know you got that stuff rated. Yeah. <laughs>
That's true. I mean, that's yeah. terrifying. Before so we much... go to the next call, uh, Ahmad, are you going to share your story about the Uber thing? It wasn't even Uber. It was Lyft. Remember the other morning? W- what <laughs> happened? What are you saying? He doesn't even remember. It, but, but it was, I mean, this is Pride Month. How dare, how dare these people? What? Uh, so I was late to the show, per usual. And uh, I, my boyfriend was going to work at the same time. So I'm like, okay, just add me to your ride. We'll get dropped off. As usual, before we leave, we always give us give each other a kiss goodbye. Like, you know, I love you, yada, yada, yada. Uh-huh. So as he continues the ride. Because y'all have they cars got out. and you're in an Uber. Y'all shared an Uber. They shared an cars. Uber and then they kissed when he got out here. Okay. And then okay. when I got out, he said, yeah, make sure you give her one star. I was like, why? What did she do? She was being very homophobic about the kiss. Really? Like, y'all could have waited for that. Y'all could have did that before y'all got in the car and, like, Use some colorful language. Oh, oh no. And you know, oh. and you know what's funny, Lyft didn't do much. They said they, they were gonna talk to her and they're like, We insure you, we love the community, yada yada yada. But like uh-huh. I, I wanted my money back. I'll be real with you. Like, why would I I didn't want her to get my money if she was acting yeah. like that. It yeah. doesn't sound like there's much recourse for any complaints on the rideshare service. No, it doesn't. There isn't. There is not. Even one of our callers, uh I think maybe Is it Which Robin? one should we go to? Well, I want Robin to be very uh, discreet with her Oh, no, I guess he hung up. But he spoke about even as a driver, when you complain about these passengers, Mm -hmm. they're like, oh, okay, we're sorry. Mm. Like, they don't Mm. do much. I hear a lot. My my brother brother does this for a living, and my God, the stories he shares with us. Well, let's hear Jessica's story. She is a driver as well for Rideshare. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Hi. No, Hello. this was a rider story, actually. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I confused that because we have a lot of drivers and riders. I confused your line. Jessica, tell me, what happened as a passenger in this Uber story case? But it could, could have been Lyft. We're just calling them Uber stories. No, yeah, this one was an Uber. Um, I'm a pretty common, like, regular rider, and so I have had several crazy stories, but this one stuck out in my mind because the driver seemed a little bit um, less mentally there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um and he was telling me all about his dog. And so I usually, whenever I'm a little insecure about a ride, I usually mention that I have a big dog at home just so that, like, hey, don't try anything. Like, right. I have yeah. a big, big dog. scary dog will bite your face that. off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't follow me my door. And so, so he's like, oh, I've got a dog, too. And, like, he starts, like, he uses one hand to drive and then starts, like, leaning back with his phone to show oh, me pictures no. of his dog. He's scrolling like, with one okay. hand on the phone. Okay. Yeah, and so he's like, and he's also like turning around in his car while he's driving to show me. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, great. You're like, your dog's so cool. And then he starts like talking about how much he loves his dog. I'm like, just just focus on the road. Like, I'll say whatever I need to do to get you to just like go back to driving. Yeah, keep and your eye like, on the road. Oh, yeah. But he's like, oh, well, if you love dogs, I can take you to see him real quick. Is and it I'm like, take you to go see his dog? No, thank yes, you, sir. Yes. In no. the Uber, and I was like, "No, no, that's okay." He's like, "Well, you said you love dogs, right? Like, I'll take, I'll just, it'll, it's on the way, actually." Oh. And, and I'm like, no, oh, "No, please don't, like, no." Do not <laughs> veer from the route. Oh my oh, god, yes. that's scary. And so he was like, "Well, um, he was like, I, I won't even, I don't even, I could just end the ride here, and I won't charge you for the rest of the trip." Mm-mm, mm-mm, and uh-uh. I was like, "I, I have never been more scared in an Uber than in that moment when he wanted to end the ride because yeah. then there, there's no more tracking. Like there's right, no way." Of, right. Did you report that guy? Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Um, I ended up saying I was like running late for something. I was like, "Oh, I wish I could." Um, I would really love it, and he was like kept persisting, like over and over and over again. I. To this day, I don't know if he really wanted me to see his dog or if he had something, like, creepier in well, him, but, like, that yeah. was terrifying. Like, he even sort of, like, veering off the route. Like, he turned towards his house. No, did you report no. like, him? Did no. you, when you yeah. got done, did you report him? Yes, I did. And? and all they, they they said, oh, like, we don't um, condone this behavior, but the worst they would do is say, we, we just won't let him pick you up anymore. Oh. Like, what is So he can that? do this to somebody else. That is awful. That's like if you'd been assaulted. Exactly. Like, well, we don't condone the assault, but sorry that happened to you. We'll we make just sure. won't pair you with yeah. him anymore. Now, yeah. let, me, let me throw you this side. I'm going to be devil's advocate, Jessica. If this guy was hot, would you be like, I want to see this no. cute little dog of yours? No, <laughs> no. that's dangerous. Like, Give me your number and I'll text you. But right. Like, <laughs> not we can connect moment. later. Wait, there's Don't a van ride. over there with more puppies? Okay. <gasps> oh, yes. Yeah, like, no, like, <laughs> let me do a thorough background check on this guy first. Like, give me your last name. <laughs> like, give me your number. Like, no. Then we'll go look at no, your puppy. I'm glad that wow. you're sticking to your guns because, I mean, think about it. Ted Bundy was considered a really good looking guy. 
Oh, killers. All killers. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your story, Jessica. I'm glad you're okay. But what yeah. are we learning, guys? If something bad happens to you on these rides, there's no, no, no consequence. Recourse, no repercussions no. whatsoever. So it is at your own risk that you are getting in somebody else's car. You are paying them to drive you somewhere. God, this is so infuriating. Look at, this, look, look at the reviews. Look at their stars, I guess, right? Yep. I, I guess, but I this guess. guy could have been... Let me ask real quick. Hold on, Jessica. Were his stars high? Like, did you see how many stars this guy had? Because you can look at that before you choose the ride with this person. Yeah, I did. And he was just like... He was like a 4.89 or something. I like, picked nothing him. horrible. Yeah. Well, then so maybe he was fine. Anything. Maybe he was a sweet dog guy. Really, Kevin? <laughs> you are not a woman. You do not know the same. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, let's go see your place. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, like, welcomes that. Okay. I want to see your place. <laughs> is your dog uh, cuddle? It is creepish. All right, coming up. Oh, y'all go to the listener line, 713-278-VENT. That's 8368 on your phone. Here's your Uber, your Lyft stories there. Coming up next, um, you know, Travis and Taylor, Taylor and Travis. I know that you're hearing a lot about them, but there is something different about the story that's about them today. You're going to hear it next in Scoop on The Real and Ryan Show. Celebrity Scoop. 104.1 KRBE. All right. Forget Celebrity Scoop. Taylor and Travis, fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we got to go with some <laughs> Rule and Ryan Show Scoop because oh. during oh, the previous little, you know, important message from our sponsors. Yes. We were still talking about what happened at 8 o'clock this morning. If you're just tuning in, we did Try It Tuesday. My nine-year-old son, MJ, was here, and he was always about coming here to try something with us. Last time he was here, we did beer, so we couldn't do that. No. Mm-hmm. And so we had found this stuff at the checkout register of, I think it was actually TJ Maxx, not Marshall's, but you know what I mean. They right. both had the same thing. Very similar items, yes. They have different kinds of, like, candies and nuts mm-hmm. and different stuff. So uh-huh. these were called jubes, J-U-B-E-S, and they're coconut gel little squares, kind of similar to, like, a boba type of thing you see at the boba shops. And it's strawberry flavor and mango flavor. And Kevin said, oh, I have mincemeat, too. And I said, yeah, that's cool, because mincemeat, even though the word meat is in there, it's actually supposed to be like a Thanksgiving, fall, Christmassy, British delicacy of, like, crushed up, it's chopped up It's been big apples, since the raisins, early nuts. 1800s. Uh-huh. So he had this jar, and when it opened, it smelled like pickle brine to me from this far away. <laughs> and I was like, this does not smell sweet at all. I thought it'd be, like, cinnamony. And it was on my spoon, and before we all tried it, there was this little white piece that I thought was probably, like, crystal sugar or something. It looked like a piece of rice. Yeah, and it, and it, it was thicker. Yeah. And I... And I put it in my mouth because I thought I was going to fall off the spoon. I go, okay, it's probably something sweet. It was like a fat film, nasty. And I go, this is disgusting. What is this? So just previously in the commercial break, I look it up because somebody texted us. <laughs> it's called suet. And I go, what the hell is suet? Look at the pictures of suet. Disgusting. S-U-E-T. It is a raw, hard fat of beef, lamb, or mutton. Oh, so it's like That lard. is around the loins and the kidneys of the animal. So it's animal fat. Rule, and they okay. use it for pastry production or for deep so frying. So I heated up two cups to one to your <laughs> left. Yeah. I did it for too long for a minute and 30, and, like, all the raisins oh. blew up. Uh-oh. Okay. But the one, <laughs> close, the the one that you're stirring up right now is the right one. I did 30 oh. seconds. Okay, oh, I'm going to... I'm gonna. Take, Why are you trying this again? Why are you eating it again? Oh, Y'all, the fat film is still on my mouth. <laughs> it's animal fat. It's going to taste gross it. again. This is I terrible. Like, give jubes. me to me again. Yeah. Let me I see if it's better. I ate all the jubes, warm. and the jubes did not get rid of the fat films. Now, Kevin, you're trying this too. Do you see any more jubes in there? No, I ate all the jubes. They ate there. <laughs> All the mango juice are gone. I they still melted. have strawberry juice, but mango is gone. <laughs> it doesn't mean I want to eat this again. Well, you're Idiot. being You're the one you're that suffering. brought in animal fat. You suffer. I suffer. You suffer. Yes, that's how this uh, works these jubes are not melted no, no. all it's the way. It's not a jubes. It's not jubes. The suet. It's mixed meat. You're doing, you're eating mixed meat. Not the jubes. The suet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the <where>? suet. <laughs> okay. All right, he's eating the animal fat. Hold on, so did wait. it melt? This is a bomb. This is amazing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is up. so good. I told you I knew it better than Oh, so you like it heated up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all, this is so good. <laughs> put this in a pastry pie shell and serve it to me at Christmas. Wow. I don't know what the hell's going on with this when it's, like, cold. Mm-hmm. You want to try it, on? Yeah, I didn't stick my spoon back But did the, um, the little... Soot that we we're talking did about. It melt? The, ju- the, the suet the melted. Suet, in there. Sorry, not the suet. It did in. melt, so you cannot see it I now. Guess. You can't Ooh. see and you can't taste it. <laughs> Got it. But it's, I still have like a. I'm going to trust slick. you and uh, mm. pass on that. You know why, Sam? Because all Come the raisins on. and everything. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's a juice, but you know, it's kind of like the. Um, see the consistency of that is like. Um, yeah. You know, we have apple pie. Yes. The apple cinnamon Ooh, jelly, juice. It's like a juice. Whatever it is. Smells awful. Oh, yeah. It's fine. It's like. A okay. brown, a brown sugar melted down into a syrup. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right? Do you like it, Mom? Mm-hmm. I like it. I liked it at first. I could taste the crispness. So you like it warmed up, and you like it cold room temperature. I could drink it. Yeah. There, there is a weird, aftertaste. weird um, slick on your tongue oh. afterwards. But I could drink this juice here. Yeah. Oh. Stop. 
Give me a little pastry <laughs> Next shell. Next time in unison. And I'll pour that in my microwave. You only need 30 here. seconds in the microwave. I definitely just burnt my tongue on this. Oh. 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 Now you're going to be ruined. Now we know. Your mouth. I know. Sue here, it. have a jube. Close the ballot with the jube. The Ryan Show on KRBE to tell you what's going down. In H-Town. Okay, so we're going to have a heat advisory today from noon to 8 o'clock. Heat index will feel like it's greater than 108 degrees today. Well, it's not going to be like the case for every day of the summer. Mm-hmm. Do it the rest of the summer. It day. pretty so, much was last just summer. Just know it's hot. Be careful. So Hydrate. starting on July 1st of this year, consumers in Texas are going to have more control over their personal online data. There's a new act that's been passed. It requires businesses to obtain users' consent before processing their sensible person, sensitive personal data data. The law also allows us as Texans to access any data that a company has about us. We can ask them to delete it. We can ask the company to stop collecting it, stop selling to other people. Businesses must okay. comply with our request concerning our private data. They must also respond to our request without delay and within 45 days after receipt. So you can call companies. 45 say, days? Say, I do not want you sharing my data with anybody. I want to know what no you have thing. on me right now. You need to share it with me. So which companies? Facebook, Instagram. Google, uh-huh. they all have our info. Well, they have oh, it yeah. ten times over. Yeah, and you Everything. think that you think that us like sending them a a, a, a terse email? This is bi- <laughs> they're going to be Sure, oh, 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 oh yeah, it's deleted. It's gone. It's, gone. it's, it's gone. business owners in Texas, is what they're saying. Strongly business worded owners. letters. Look, Lynn, when you sign one of those gigantic disclaimers, you you sign your life away. Well, what else are you going to do? Like, I don't accept the terms of service for my Apple. Get, you don't get to use them. Yeah, you can't use your iPhone well, if you don't hit iPhone this iPhone clicker, click agreement. Anybody uh. ever read every single word of the user agreement no on your iPhone? Way. Back no. to the Nokia. Look no. how long it is. Mm-hmm. Even Nokia has a user agreement. It's probably just I'm as sure. long. If you mm-hmm. want to use technology, you just click and move on or else you can't get to the next page. You give they up your know rights. that's how they have us. Mm-hmm. Totally stinks. Okay, coming up next, revenge. If you missed what happened with Gabe and his brother-in-law, Will, well, you're going to hear it next on The Rule and Ryan Show.